the ruins minions. the tier one. Minions up on top side. Those things doing a lot of damage to the inhibitor right now. CLG trying to keep FlyQuest in mid while the minions do their work. It's almost done. CLG minions working away. Phillips going to stop it. He wants to prevent this from going down for free, but CLG's taking the chance. They're going after the bear and seeing Philip up there in the top side. Remember how fast they burn this down. FlyQuest oh moving up. They don't want to give it away. Philip coming in now for the TP. There's the cooldown CLG was looking for. They bring Philip back here. They counter TP to the port. Don't let counter in. TP. Now they know FlyQuest doesn't have a way to get back in there and match him in time. Dope was going for the in hit, and CLG have found the macro out play for now. What is FlyQuest's answer as CLG disengages with a four? Double TP. Wall. They're going for it. They're to bring Palafox in. They want to go for the end of the game as FlyQuest are trying to get back to the base. Philip wants to survive, but Palafox wants to stop. There definitely wasn't much time, but there was enough. First for Dokla to finish the inhib and force Philip to race back, but instead of maintaining Baron pressure, Palafox gets a second drop and just goes for the base rush. Impeccably played by CLG. Hey everyone, welcome back to Fizz Khalifa. Today we're taking a look at some of our favorite high IQ moments from tournaments across League's history. Oftentimes, things don't go as planned for League players, but when it all comes together, a team, or even just a player, can look galaxy-brained. Take this not completely inconspicuous Nico play from you. Gal. Will this matter. work? Will it work? Will it work? It will! And that's what you want to be seeing, Yagao! Patient as ever! Gets himself as killed! The hunter! Uh, should be defensive wards, trying to cut off both of the... Oh, just kidding. As soon as I speak, <laughs> Ignar body slam over the top. He gets the ward and he slips in behind the red buff. He can go right behind Zazel. You want to bait and you show in the river uh, for Zazel and then you both go at the same time. Ooh, here they go, gonna push him in. Zazel's gonna run right Slam. into this champion. Knocked up, oh stunned, my. goodbye. Ignite is on anyway. Ain't no party like a bot lane party, Captain Flowers. Cause a bot lane party don't stop. And when Optic's in the game, and Jensen's having to flash himself out of the Cataclysm. A nice follow oh! there But Jensen with the last breath over the ball. Crowd's still looking to take him down. A couple more hits might be able to do it, but he won't be able to go all the way underneath the turret. The rocket just... I is just protagonist status oh. at that point. But Razork is going to find Faker here in the river. Humanoid's coming to help him. Razork continues his chase. Faker's trying to get out. Goes into the Drake pit. Hilly's coming around Fine now, game. too. Faker fighting oh. back, using the Drake yep. knockback to make sure he makes his escape. Pushing in the bottom lane. Top wave is pushing towards them. Unicorns of Love just continuing to delay the game. Almost completed items on Inax. Yeah. at four right now. Four on the Corky as well, or three and a half. Now Mammoth have started up the Baron. Boss is down towards the bottom side. Unicorns of Love. Oh, Do King, they fight it? King hit a ward. So that oh, revealed him yeah. temporarily. And you all know they're on this Baron. Here we go, Baron being started. Mammoth just turns straight onto Boss. It was a bait! They oh. was a bait! Mammoth, that was beautiful! And Boss has to slice and dice his way away. Edward in the middle of all the Mammoth now as they try and take the fight. But look at the damage onto a Nanotech. He's done! That's three! Mammoth with an absolutely beautiful play around Vision. You were confused, I was confused. That's such an unreal micro play. Finding ways to not just play around your opponent's vision, but into it come few and far between. But skating that ward and just plowing through to ambush the other ward that Mammoth knew about was just perfection. Sometimes the smart plays come unintentionally. Watch Chovy surprise everyone, including himself, in this next clip. I want to see whether he calls it. Okay. Okay. Let's see whether he calls it. 1v1, guys. I'm gonna okay. go for 1v1. Uh, I think I'm not killing. Just going up. Uh, 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 he's not good. His not good. Oh, I got him. This <laughs> ball, <laughs> 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 hey, I just saw it. I'm not seeing it anymore. I'm not seeing it anymore. When he comes back, he should not understand why Cao Li has a mouse. Far out there and might be gonna get run down. Oh, oh, beautiful use of pillar while mid air to stop Dokla from getting over the wall and into the river. Fudge will drop the maelstrom and Berserker drop. Go. You did it yesterday, Niski. Come on, man. You're, you're still down a game. All right, you know, <laughs> time and a place. You gotta respect the confidence, though. No, I do respect it. I'm enjoying this composition in Trump Mad. Oh, gonna try to walk back into that blast cone, but I. Ooh, oh, 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 what? what? How does that interaction work? Well, it works out for Elioya pretty damn well. Trippy, though, now they're trying to burn him back. Oh, and Elioya. Oh, 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 anything you what? can do, Larson can do better. 
Yeah, I'm not sure how to react to that one either. Did Trimby mean to bait that? Or did he just panic and happen to hit the blast cone with just El Yoya on it? And how prepped were Comp and Larson to combo off of that? Hey, regardless, right place, right time. Here, Kana is the one who actually creates both of those just for himself to get the kill. This is a 334. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a thing. Ooh. Like, who wins this trade? Yes, nice knockback. But. Like, Warren is very unpleased. That was his full combo, like everything yeah. he could have used. Every cooldown huh? in his kit. But here he's like, what, I what? can't help you. What, what am I going to do? <laughs> Even then, you know, 2v1, this ra rascal is eventually going to get so out of control that you cannot do anything against it. And here we Ellen's go. Here. By the way, yeah, LM doesn't have teleport. He's the jungle, so he's not in position for the Baron. He has to try to help out. The inhibitor, very importantly, doesn't go down, actually. Rascal is going to miss the kill. Maybe, hopefully, the minions, the minions get, get that for him. Yeah. And the minions do, thankfully, for him. And now he's actually on the run. He might be able to get out of this one. And I believe that he will. There's no... got to start this dragon. We can't give it away. We have to take the dragon. We don't care about lava right now. The damage is already coming in. That's the inhibitor down already. And lava just continuing. It's nice over the wall here from Kana, but immediate fades call. And they don't care, bro. They're just delaying. So They're just trying to delay the backs here as the teleport is coming in. And BDD will be denied as the turret goes down. The game is going to end. We do not care about this objective or any of the kills because... I mean, watch this, watch this, because Caps takes a poor path here, doesn't realize he's getting jumped on, thinks he can do it, but no. Nope. <laughs> Humanoid gets behind him, and Caps realizes he can't really flash out of that one with Humanoid able to pop that at any time. The first dragon, now we have to draw our eyes towards the first Herald of the game. Maybe they're dive for here, but Alistar level 6, nice E away from Noah. A lot of chunk damage, Razorks around, Humanoid has mid push too, they only have Patrick one range now as well. The last time Fnatic died like this, it went very poorly for them. Limit so low. We're trying to match them. Humanoid coming in with that shock boss. Land acceleration gate. Patrick tanks it. Unbreakable used oh, by Limit. Horror, Patrick tanking horror, everything. The oh, they kept him alive. Oh, he dodged it. He's still alive. And we're dead. What the? They're gonna live. They're still they're gonna live. Live. Limit will fall. Yeah, this outplay from Limit is just too good to be true. Patrick had so much time to chip away, and in a 3v4, they ended up trading one for two with far less health for the fight. It just kept getting scarier up until the stun lock, and that was curtains for Fnatic's effort. Let's go back a few years in the LEC to watch one of the most entertaining pieces of synergy in League's history. Minute, Mountain Soul, and Neon takes a gigantic- Oh, there he is again! It's again! Oh! Uh, can you just check your watch for me there, Dagda? Oh yeah, it's about 20 minutes. It's Baron o'clock for T1. They, uh, they oh, God. just this lost the fight. Do we going forward? Perhaps fading in K with the flash across the wall. An incredible oh, engage! T1 take G2, lift them up, and break their spines over their knee! T1 are breaking G2 like it's absolutely nothing! They baited Baron, knowing that everyone thinks they do that. Baron o'clock! It's his life for that. Neon will be gifted this kill. The... Uh, Oh? Oh, that was... <laughs> That's cheeky. He's going to take them on a magical journey. Mickey's not letting them kill him yet. It's not bad. It's Alistair. So you shouldn't be able to do this. He gets out. Is he out? Wow. Mickey no out. way is he out. Rip. For Maorang. No ults across the board for except Yike. That's already Shigenda been engaged on. He's got no unstoppable flashes for his life. Now Maorang can come to help out the members of Koi. The Nexus will stand for now, but the Hex Gates are up. Members of Koi are using them. They have no ults. Trying to get behind. Teleport uses. Oh, 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 oh. That's been left alone and taken down. Yike gets yet another oh, no. kill. All of a sudden, G2 are inside the base. It is <laughs> They've evicted Koi. They've evicted them. They've actually beaten them so hard. They bought the damn base and they shipped them out of it. This is mine now. G2 yells. They're looking for some more kills. Cop trying to get one back onto Caps. The unstoppable force comes out and still not going to be enough. Yike gets another. 6-1-6. Six, six. Make it 7. And the Nexus will be the final target to fall. A 20. TL are aware. They're running over. Let's see if they can win a fight. Bang plays a bit of crowd control, slows it down. Svenskeren still tanking up the bear, and TL shoves in mid and then loses vision. They are not 100% certain 
exactly what's happening anymore as Kumo and Sven stay on the camp and EG show three mid. They show Team Liquid they have stopped Baron, the but they haven't stopped Baron. It's still got some health left. It's going to take a little while to go, but they walk right back to the top side and look at this maneuvering evil geniuses. While Doubles is taking down the Drake to prevent Soul, the Baron will get taken under their noses. A slow from Bang, and now Broxa stunned up as well. This could be a kill picked up. He flashes away, but it's not enough. Suzuki grabs his killing spree. The Baron picked up now as well. Sure, the Drake went down, but at what cost? Evil G. Good diversion to wipe us out. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know in the comments what you want to see next, and subscribe to never miss another upload. Until next time.